A bill that's been hailed a game changer in preventing public corruption and restoring trust in government has stalled because there's no funding for it. Watchdog groups now question if there's truly a desire to clean up Hawaii politics. Manolo Morales reports. The bribery convictions of former state lawmakers Jay Kalani English and Ty Cullen drove lawmakers to say there will be significant changes made during the session. Among them, a public financing bill which allows a candidate to collect $5 donations from voters. Once they reach a certain threshold, the state would provide the rest of the money needed to run a campaign. Public financing ensures that rather than having to go around drumming up dollars from large investors, you know, people who can write big checks to the campaign, they are talking to the regular people and all they have to do is raise these $5 qualifying contributions. Senator Carl Rhodes, who wrote and introduced the bill, says only $700,000 was approved for the proposal when it needed $7.5 million. If it were a priority, this is a year where we're not broke. Um, we, we could come up with the money. It's a, it's a tiny percentage of the total budget, so... Uh, it's, it's at this point apparently is not a priority. Senator Rhodes was hoping to get that public financing bill approved for next year's election. Instead, if it happens at all, the earliest it could be done would be 2028. The watchdog group Common Cause says it's extremely disappointing considering the amount of support for the bill. And we know that a number, an an overwhelming number of constituents have been contacting multiple offices of their elected officials. What are they afraid of? She adds that states that adopted it believe it benefits candidates and voters. Because they don't feel that their elected officials are being influenced by big money donors or lobbyists. Hello, this is Manola Morales from KHOM2 News. We reached out to the chairs of the Ways and Means and Finance Committees, as well as the Senate President and the House Speaker. A spokesperson said they were too busy with final conference committees to comment. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.